In this video, I'm going to show you on an old style faucet like this that still has washers in it, how to replace the washer and also how to replace the seat. Uh, generally for this kind of faucet, nine times out of 10, 29 times out of 30, you only have to replace the washer. If you have uh, hard water conditions, lots of minerals, sometimes the seat uh, will need replacing. Now, uh, the whole uh, replacing washers and seats uh, really only apply to, to older style faucets. Uh, most newer faucets, things that are made in the last 10-15 years, uh, will have a cartridge in them and uh, don't have to be replaced near as often as, uh, as washers and uh, uh, can be replaced. The cartridges can be replaced, uh, but uh, that's a, a different beast entirely than a washer. First thing you got to do is find the water shutoff valve and shut the water off to the uh, side of the faucet that you're going to be working on. In this case, it's the uh, cold water faucet. So I'll just turn that off. Now this valve is in really good shape. It just turned like nothing. Uh, no, uh, no problem shutting it off. If you're finding that it is extremely difficult to turn this, you know, you're having to use a lot of effort and it still won't turn, then uh, it just may be frozen in place and you may have to uh, call somebody in to, uh, to deal with it. Uh, if you shut it down and sometimes shut it, close it off, you might get some water dripping out of the end of it here. Usually when you open it back up after you've done your job, that uh, dripping will go away. Uh, sometimes you want to put a little container like this under it for uh, a day or so. And again, it, uh, it usually disappears. If it doesn't, uh, it means that the O-ring in this is actually shot and you have to replace that. Same procedure that uh, you'll see uh, using up on this uh, faucet. Second thing to do here is plug the drain hole. And if you don't have uh, a plug or a pop-up drain to plug it with, take some uh, Kleenex and put it down there and plug it because you don't want to lose little parts, little screws and that down there. First step is you got to get the little cap off here. Quite often these caps are on uh, really tightly and you can't get them off with your uh, hands. Uh, sometimes you can get them off, just pull them off with your fingernails. If you can't, take a very, very sharp knife, get it right in between the joint there, work it in and just lightly pop it up. Uh, a sharp knife, uh, a razor knife works really well. Uh, you're not gonna do it with a bread knife. And just lift that off. Take your screwdriver, unscrew the screw all the way. Just keep going till you hear it clicking like that, which means that it's come out all the way. And this whole thing, sometimes you gotta wiggle it back and forth a bit. Pops off like that. Now, you need to remove this whole brass part here to get to the washer. want to open up the faucet a bit on this side, just as if you're turning the water on, just to make sure that the washer is not tightly against the, the seat. Take a pair of channel lock pliers, put it on there and just turn it. Shouldn't be too hard to get off. And out it comes. This is the washer. That's the part we're going to be replacing. This again is a uh, straight screw, slotted screw. So I'll just take my screwdriver, take that off, like that. Screws all the way out. Sometimes the screw can be used. There we go. Now, you can take this to your hardware store and get an exact replacement. Now if you see down in there, that shiny round thing is the seat. And that's what the washer goes down against. 
to stop the flow of water. You want to take your finger and feel that seat and make sure it feels smooth and there's no nicks or corrosion on it. Now the other part that can leak is up around here. So if you think of that as being back in there, if you're getting leaking down around in here, that's because there's a little rubber O-ring in there that can deteriorate over time. And if you take this apart like this, screw it, you can see right there is that O-ring. Uh, this one's in really good shape. It's soft rubber. I can feel it's, uh, it's just fine. So uh, it's probably okay, but uh, I'll replace it anyways just to show you how it's done. You can see this, uh, this washer, you might see the grooves where it actually goes down and, and goes against the seat. Uh, I can feel there's some, some nicks and such there that uh, would be causing the leaking. Pop the washer in, put the screw in. <coughs> And that is the washer back in. So now I'm going to do the O-ring. Let's turn that off like that. There is the new O-ring that is going in right there. So getting that little O-ring off can be a bit of a problem, so I'm just using a nail clippers because that's what's handy. And you just work it. Faucets that have been around for a while and these things have deteriorated on, this thing probably just crumble when you Take it off. And it's a lot easier to go up top than down below because this is all a lot narrower. And putting the new O-ring on is just obviously the reverse of the getting your old one off. Just work your way down there. You don't want to damage or cut the new O-ring by forcing it. it just kind of Move it down bit by bit and it'll go. And there's the new O-ring in place. You uh, can tell whoever did this before did a really nice job is they put a uh, nice supply of grease up here which just keeps all this from getting corroded and also helps your faucet to turn nicely. Uh, if you got uh, petroleum jelly, i.e. Vaseline, you can use that. Uh, if you have uh, automotive grease you can use just a little bit of that. You want to keep it above this line here. You don't want it getting down into the part that's in contact with the actual water. And you just put that back together like that. And then this will go back in the faucet. Tighten this up. I want to make sure that this is turned open as if the faucet is on when you're tightening this down. Otherwise, the washer can get jammed down against the seat and you'll think you'll have it tight, but it won't be tight because uh, the washer jamming down onto the seat prevents you from tightening it up. This goes back on. Close it off, put the cap back on. This is a seat wrench and it's uh, got six different steps of sizes on it uh, for uh, the seat. So a wrench like this uh, you can buy at a hardware store uh, for about 10 bucks. Uh, you can also go and get uh, more elaborate uh, ones at rental places. Uh, and uh, the rental will probably cost you seven or eight dollars plus the trip back and forth so uh, buying one might be a better deal. If the seat is has a hexagonal insert to it you may have a uh, set of hex wrenches like this that will fit in there without having to buy uh, a specific wrench. You just pop it down and it feels like that's the size right there. Obviously, these are square ones. I know this is hexagonal in here, so they know these aren't going to fit. So it's the uh, hexagonal side. Pop it down there. You want to brace this thing so you don't end up pulling this off the wall. And you just want to twist it or have somebody brace it. And then 
then just continue and spin it out. And then I'll just go down and grab the seat and bring it out. And that is what the seat looks like. I can see a little bit of corrosion on there and that's where the water is leaking uh, past the washer. This I'll take to a good sized hardware store. Uh, you won't find these everywhere uh, and hopefully I can find uh, the size that will fit in there. So I've got my new seat so I'm going to drop it down in there and position it in place. A pair of tweezers and then I'm going to take my wrench and slowly move it around here till I feel it grip in to the threads. Yeah, I can feel it's in there now. Just continue tightening it up. And give it a good tightening at the end to make sure it's in there firmly. So now while you're at it uh, and you got your tools up here, you might as well clean out the, uh, the aerator or flow restrictor. This one, I'm lucky it's just finger tight, so it comes right off. If it's not finger tight, you'll want to take a wrench like this, uh, wrap the teeth or the, the jaws of your wrench with uh, tape of some kind so you don't get this all marked up, or wrap tape around there and just take that off gently. It should, should come off pretty easily. I'm going to take that out. I want to keep track of how these bits go together. Take the pieces out, wash them all off, clean them off, get any grit out of there, put them back together the same way they came apart. And uh, I know people who have had plumbers in to replace faucets uh, because the faucet wouldn't work and it was because the aerator was all plugged up with, uh, with minerals and stuff from inside the pipes. And then you just screw it back on. And there we go. No more drips. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that video has been uh, useful to you. And uh, give it a try. You can do it.